it's Robin getting ready to put together some bags we have the upcoming early state day of action tomorrow we're driving from Atlanta to South Carolina to knock on some doors for Joe Biden uh, the work starts now the work starts now absolutely My grandmother's oldest sister, my great aunt, um, has been a resident of Wilmington, Delaware for the better part of the last 50 years. Um, and she she uh, was a stay-at-home mother in the, in the in the early 1970s. And she said that a, a young 29-year-old running for Senate came by her home on four different occasions, not canvassing, um, running a very retail-oriented campaign to become the next senator from Delaware. And that 29-year-old was Joe Biden. Um, and after the fourth time that he knocked on her door, she volunteered uh, for his campaign for the Senate, and he eventually won. Um, I think that uh, Vice President Biden has a high chance of winning the nomination, really. Um, and I think that what you can do um, to beat Donald Trump, which is what uh, uh, the, I think the majority of us want, um, is come help us. Come help us campaign. Uh, donate. Come knock on doors. Come volunteer. Do what you can to make sure that we don't have another four years of a Trump presidency. Well, the reason I decided to vote for Joe and, and to work for him is I saw him speak with um, with John Lewis a few years ago in Atlanta at an event, and I was so moved by it that even before he announced, I said I would I would vote for him if he got in the red. Walking with the Wind by John Lewis, it's a book. Everybody needs to get it and read it. It's like, that's the reason I decided to run, because he read that book as a teenager. It's crazy. Um, bringing both kids with me today, canvassing. I think it's important to have them experience it and to show how important it is to elect someone like Joe. Great. Getting up early on a Saturday morning and <laughs> going to South Carolina to make sure that people know to vote for him and have the right information and the voting date and everything. Hi Joe, I'm so happy to be a part of your team and thank you so much for the opportunity and I look forward to all of us celebrating November of 2020, um, your victory as president. Specifically, I was a delegate uh, for Jimmy Carter in 1976 in New York, and the Mississippi delegation of which I was a member in four or five other states, including New York and some others, but one of the members of Congress designated by the Carter campaign to work with the war was a very young Joe Biden. He had hair and I had a law school mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Robin is so dynamic, right? I mean, if she asks you to do something, you just need to do it. <laughs> because it's the right thing to do, right? I've had the best day. Best day. We've gotten so many commitment cards all the way from Atlanta to South Carolina. And we all finished our pack of all the houses and everything. So everyone's having a really good time. People are super nice here and they really appreciate that we're out here earning their vote. So Come on, you guys, come in, come in, like get off the fence and off the sidelines, join us. It's really fun and having a really positive day out here. So I'll post more later. I have one more house to do and then meeting up with the rest of the group. All right, like a drum, drop and give me 10. <laughs>